Best Irish music on irishradio.org with Jerry Byrne. Irish Radio, I'm Jerry Byrne. Now, since uh, the advent of COVID and all the rest, been speaking to many of the great and the good of Irish entertainment and uh, music. I've got a lady online now who has uh, recorded a total of uh, five albums, done numerous, numerous appearances. And uh, a lady who uh, is involved in cultists, actually t- uh, does uh, teaching uh, for uh, cultists, cult or yearn, and uh, has uh, started in music at a very, very young age. And uh, I'm delighted to say hello from uh, near Mill Street in County Cork, the one and only Anne-Marie O'Reardon. Anne-Marie, how are you? Hello, Jerry. Thank you very much for having me on your show. Um, I'm delighted to be with you. And when you gave the introduction of the great and the good, I was saying, oh, you must have someone else from the other line. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> no, I, I was delighted when you introduced me then. So thank you very much, Jerry. So um, I hope all your, your listeners are doing well in these very strange times. In very strange times, indeed they are, Amory. No, no question, no question, no doubt about that. Listen, tell me this. How did you become involved in music in the first place? Well, I'll tell you, I'm from a very musical family, to be fair. Now, my, if you ask my parents, do I get the, the music from my mother's side or my father's side, they'd both say their own side, because my grand, my father's people were all into playing the button accordion and singing, and my mother's people, they were all into singing and dancing, set dancing. So I suppose I got it from every angle, and... Um, my youngest childhood memories were of singing songs here at um, the Station Mass. So I think there was great excitement about the Station Mass. You'd paint the entire house and be cleaning up for it, and all the neighbours would be around for a bit of a, a sing song. And uh, of course, the Mass. So I started singing then in. I joined Colts at the tender age of six. My mother um, t- joined Colts with me just because I, I had such a love of uh, singing. My first competition, I was five, and I won gold medal singing Teddy Dog Arling, and I haven't stopped singing since. So I went on to record an album then when I was 12, so it is, um, it's all gone since then. I recorded five albums, and I'm currently finishing up recording my sixth album. Wow. that is uh, That is some going. That really is some going. Oh, it's, uh, yeah, so it is, uh, busy, busy times, all right. Definitely, definitely is. Now, uh, in the intervening time, I mean, as well as recording all these albums, uh, you were, uh, you were studying, and, uh, you've, um, you, you're actually a qualified primary school teacher. I am indeed. I'm a primary school teacher. I was studied in Mary Immaculate College, and, um, I did actually specialism in theology and religious education, and I'm currently teaching full-time in a local school, Kentork in County Cork, and I am doing a master's as well in theology and Christian leadership as well in Mary I. So I like to keep myself busy, so doing the master's and teaching full-time, um, but, uh, and in the album as well. So it is good to be busy, Jerry. Well, that's, I mean, there's busy and busy, but that seems uh, to be uh, phenomenal stuff. It really does. And in the, interve- <laughs> in the intervening time, you've also got engaged. Congratulations to you. Oh, I did indeed, yes. So, um, uh, a guitarist and singer from Maroon County Limerick, uh, but he's, uh, he's a, an engineer as well. So, that, um, that's, that's a good thing as well. He's, uh, he knows a few bits as well. So, he's, um, yeah, so we got engaged in September. Uh, so, you know, COVID wasn't that bad to be, I suppose, in ways like that, because uh, I st- we started building our house back in June. So um, we're, I'm building a house here in the, the farm at home. So it's uh, exciting that way. And the album then like, gave me a bit of opportunity to record the album, and that, which I'm recording behind the, some of the studios in Killarney. So it's, uh, it's going well as as well as could be expected in the very strange year that we've had so far. Indeed so, indeed so. I mean, it's 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 a phenomenal achievement to, uh, you know, have done all those things at the, uh, you know, the same time, recorded all those albums. And uh, you, you also do, I mean, teaching of singing for cultists, uh, also the, uh, you know, your, your, you know, your own singing in various places, you know, pl- you know, plus all the education, everything else. I mean, that that is that has been really, really proactive. It is. I suppose I'm used to being um, a busy household. Like my 
parents would have been, you know, they'd be working and farming and stuff at home, and we kind of, um, we like we like to keep busy, and you know, I like I love to keep furthering myself. Like it, I love being a primary school teacher, uh, but it's nice to have the do the maths as well, just to be learning more. And um, I suppose every day we're we're learning, and we can share more than with our pupils in school and with people we meet. So it's um. It's nice, it's nice to keep studying, keep learning, keep sharing the knowledge. So. Indeed, indeed. Uh, well done, well done on it all. Now, you see with the uh, with the teaching of uh, the singing for Colthus, I mean, uh, needless to say, you're not able to do that uh, face-to-face uh, with the, the whole COVID situation. So uh, how are you getting around that? Yes, so it's um, it was very strange there coming on to September again when we normally start into our singing lessons. Uh, but... When I know the coldest, one of the coldest branches, they decided to go with Zoom, whereas other coldest branches have um, just decided not to wait until after Christmas. They're hoping for the best. Uh, but the Zoom, yeah, lessons, they're, they're very different. But um, I suppose you still get to share your your love of singing and help um, young aspiring singers to learn new songs and to learn different techniques and breathing techniques and ornamentation so it's, it's just via zoom which is it's nothing is like being uh one-to-one in a classroom or a hall setting but um the zoom is the next best thing so we'll just keep going and keep sharing sharing the love of irish social music and um just sort of pass it on to everyone who has it so it's a it's a it's a great great thing as well ireland we're very lucky with a beautiful language and great music and great culture so it's nice to be teaching young children the same, so they'll appreciate it as well in time to come. Indeed, indeed, I'd, uh, I would imagine that. You know, uh, it's, uh, it, you know, it's it's been a, a huge. I mean, you've had, uh, you, you, you know, from the first, uh, very very first album that you actually released, uh, you, you've had, uh, you know, a huge uh, recognition by a huge amount of people far and wide off your music, and uh, you've also sold a huge amount of uh, albums as well. Yeah, I suppose I've been very lucky, really, in ways, and that's my, I I suppose every song I sing, I have to learn about the history of it, because singing is just telling a story through song, and I love learning all about the songs that I sing before I ever sing them, and I think people appreciate when you, when you put your heart and soul into songs and tell the story best you can, and um, I have travelled, I go to all around Europe, America, and Canada, and, um, it's uh, it's a great opportunity to meet meet people and to hear how they, I suppose, hear the song and interpret the song and what the songs mean to them. Um, so, for example, I remember I was over on tour in America one time and um, this gentleman came up to me and he says that I sing a great set of Kerry songs, a good and Clifford songs, The Boys of Barn and Schroeder. And um, I said, oh, I, I, I can, I can indeed. And... Um, he just walked away. He didn't say no more. And after half an hour of the concert, I started to sing by the Bon Strada. And I saw this big, strong man and the tears rolling down his face. Wow. And after the concert, he came up to me. And I said to myself, the boy of Bon Strada means something to you. And he said, Henry, he said, it certainly does. He says, I left Ireland over 40 years ago. And he says... My mother used to be out farming, feeding the hens and doing a few jobs, and she used to be singing the boys of Barna Shada. And shortly after I came over here to, to New York, he says, my mother passed away and I hadn't any means to go home. And I haven't been back in Ireland since. So he says, it's a song that is truly emotive for me. And he, he thanked me for singing it. So it's really, Jory, it's songs and experiences that like that that make us all the worthwhile and um i thought it was really special so that's why i love meeting people and just sharing my love of song and it's it's great to have the opportunity that people support me so i can keep sharing my singing and the stories that go along with the song indeed indeed uh, well you know well well done on and uh, you know that, that that is absolutely fantastic and uh, y- you know it's 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 great stories like that that uh, you know i hear so many many times from so many artists uh, you know about the uh, the sheer power of music and the sheer power of songs and it's a real shame i think that uh, uh, you know one of the things which uh, all singers and performers and entertainers say to me is that the one thing that they miss uh, uh, with the current situation with covid is actually meeting people 
it, it is. It's very, it's very, very strange. Like I, I the concert settings I'd be doing, and I'd be singing a concert and it's talking to people, and um, during the the break of the concert and after and hearing their stories, and it's just it's the social aspect because you get to to meet people and. You know, everyone, it's kind of, things are gone so cold now, and it's not the same over the phone. You never, you know, it's it's just not the same feel, or even on video, just having conversation. There's nothing like it, like meeting someone face-to-face and just sharing the stories and the songs. So it, it is something that we really miss, and um, hopefully we'll be back back again soon. Hopefully we'll all, all this will pass in time. It has to, Jerry, so um, hopefully we'll, uh, we'll be back to the concerts and the, the dance scene again. Indeed, indeed so. Well, the thing about it is, Amory, if you look back and uh, if you go into history, every single pandemic uh, has uh, come and gone. So, uh, and this one's looking looking good to be gone because we're getting vaccines and all the rest of it. So, I think we'll have a brighter year in 2021. Indeed. Please, God, we will anyway, and we'll sing a few songs to celebrate us. You bet, you bet. And, you know, you were in, the, in, in some ways, you were in the cold phase of the situation with COVID, because uh, from teaching in school, that mo- that must be a pretty uh, stressful situation. Well, to be honest with you, it, um, it was very, like, we, we all want to get back there, all teachers want to get back, but we were kind of worried, how would this work? And, but we all band together, I know, in our school now, we, we had a good few meetings over the summer, and we went into this all by Zoom, and we went into our own classrooms, and, a lot of ways that we could make the room safer. So I know we all moved furniture. We got rid of rid of much as much as we could inside the classroom, that there'd be more room for the children to be separated at tables, and there was perfect pers- screens put up um, on tables as well to divide the children and their pods. And um, it's um, just trying our best with sanitising and making sure that the children. They can work in their pod, but not to mix in with other tables, and which is particularly hard in yards when children are so young and they're playing. And it's it's it is hard for children. It's hard for everyone, but at the same time, it's great to be back in routine and the children learning and the teaching learning going on, and it's so much normality for children. And um, so that that kind of makes it worthwhile that they're they are learning. And as I, I know, at different times, but. We're keeping, it's trying our best anyway and uh, keeping the best side out and it seems to be okay so far anyway. For the most part, I know there's some schools that are, are badly affected but, you know, these things these things happen so we just have to have to move on and hopefully it'll all pass and we'll be all back to normal again. Indeed, indeed, that's all That's all we can hope for. Uh, listen, Amory, it's, it's been fascinating speaking to you. Well done on all your achievements uh, so far. Uh, good luck in doing the Masters and uh, uh, once again, uh, to yourself and your family and uh, your fiance, uh, listen, have a great Christmas or as good as it can be in the times we've got. And uh, also, uh, listen, here's to a, here's to a bright new year. And I'm looking forward to uh, receiving your new album. Indeed, Jerry. I would like the album recorded. I'll be sending it on to you straight away. And thank you very much for the opportunity of the interview. And um, I'm delighted to be on your show. And I'd like to wish all your listeners a very merry christmas and a happy and healthy new year so girl meal mahagos sorry